Hello, good evening, everybody. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, Soila. How's everything? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Jonathan. Good evening, William. Hello, Papa. How was how's everything? How was your day? ¿Qué tal cómo estuvo su día? Like how's how things are going? Very nice. Kind of stress. Perfect. Perfect. Cool, Jonathan. Glad to hear that. Me alegra escuchar eso. Very uh, tired. Uh, very tired, William. Yeah. I can tell. Yeah, right. Sometimes it, it happens. Así toca algunas veces, right? Yeah, I mean, it's like, like kind of complicated sometimes. All right. I, I was checking because I, I got home like 15 minutes ago. Uh, hace como 15 minutos, and uh, I was checking, I was checking the platform, y hay algunos que estaba revisando un poco la plataforma, y hay algunos que no me han completado ninguna tarea de la plataforma. Recuerden que mañana es último día para presentar las cinco tareas. Hay algunos que sí, los felicito, van al día, inclusive hay algunos que ya me completaron el 100% de la semana uno pero todavía faltamos otros que están a 0%. Así que eh, les recomiendo que, pues, para que no me tengan ahí encima, ya right? mañana después de clase, mire, haga la tarea, haga la tarea, necesito su nota, necesito enviarla. Entonces, para <ríe> no estar en eso, ¿verdad? Eh, que ustedes se vayan a sentir bastante presionados, eh, les recomiendo que comiencen a hacer las tareas, ¿ok? Porque ya mañana después de clase, like, antes de medianoche, yo tengo que enviar esa, esas notas del módulo de, de, bueno, de la semana 1 al INSAFOR para su respectiva revisión. Right? Just, I'm just saying this just, just for you to, you know, to, to get to know, right? Simplemente para que lo recordemos, lo tengamos en mente, que sí tenemos que mm, cumplir con las tareas, ¿ok? Así para que Teacher. no me vayan a tener ahí encima, ¿verdad? Diciéndoles, hey, mira la tarea. Ajá, dígame. Hey, dice que yo como ya tarde mandé todo el papeleo, según me dijeron que yo era como oyente. Ah, ¿de veras? Sí. Permítame, Jonathan, Jonathan. A ver si lo han movido, permítame, voy a ver. Uy, uh, sí lo movieron. Ahorita usted está como oyente, Jonathan, pero igual, Jonathan, eh, eh, el hecho de que esté como oyente no significa que igual usted tiene, tiene las mismas funciones tal y como lo tiene cualquier participante que esté inscrito. Usted igual sí. puede estar trabajando en la plataforma sin ningún problema, right? Entonces, eh, eh, o sea, puede estar haciendo las tareas igual normalmente, ¿ok? Ok, está bien. Doing that. All right. So I'm going to pass the attendance list. Voy a pasar a lista de asistencia porque ahora sí tenemos bastante información que compartir. Eh, todavía tenemos pendiente parte del tema que no completamos ayer y vamos a ver algunas conversaciones ahora eh, que vamos, con las cuales vamos a estar trabajando en el manual. Y luego vamos a tener el tema de esta noche que es un tanto sencillo, like, like for you, que ahora vamos a ver las formas negativas del verbo to be, en las cuales pues creo que no vamos a tener ningún problema. Uh, y vamos a estar trabajando especialmente con el, el simple present, right? Simple present. But I'm going to pass the attendance list and then we're going to start with that. Uh, let's start over. Carlos Mauricio. Present. Uh, Cindy Pitani. Hi, teacher. Elvi Quintanilla. Hi, present, teacher. Okay, perfect. Stephanie Michel. Are you there? Present. Ah, okay, perfect. Ah, uh, Gustavo Adolfo. Present. Okay, very good. Ah, uh, Ivania Jamilet. Present. Okay, perfect. Let's move. Jorge Alberto. Present. Okay, very nice. Jose Antonio. Present. Okay, very good. Let's move Jose Edgar. Present. Okay, very good. Juan Emanuel. Present. 
Okay, nice. So let's move Juan Gilberto. Uh, Juan Gilberto, is it here? All right, he has a joint. Okay, just give me one second. Someone is writing. Ah, okay, Gustavo. Thank you for telling me. All right, let's move. Julio Alberto. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Julio Cesar. Julio Cesar is it here. All right, he's not there. All right, uh, Karen Beatriz. Present. Okay, excellent. Luis Gerardo. Present. Okay, nice. Let's move, Veronica Arely. Present. Okay, perfect. Let's move, Wendy Jamilet. Present. Excellent. Uh, William Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Let's move Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Okay, nice. Let's see Luis Jonathan. Present teacher. Okay, Carlos Jose. All right, Carlos is not here yet, right? And the last one, Soila Guadalupe. I'm here, teacher. Ah, okay, very good. There you go. You see it. one person. Ah, okay. Creo que ya está conectado Juan Gilberto, right? Yeah, you're there. Present teacher. Okay, cool. There you go. All right, as I told you, bueno, como les mencionaba, vamos a continuar un poco con eh, el tema que estuvimos discutiendo la clase pasada, right? If you remember, yesterday we were discussing about how much and how many, right? That was the main topic that we were discussing last class, right? How to use how much and how to use how many, right? In that case, ¿qué recordamos de la clase pasada aparte del, del tema, que es how much and how many? Por ejemplo, ¿cuándo usamos how many? Can somebody tell me when do we use how many? ¿Cuántas veces? Ah, ok, cool. ¿Y en qué momento utilizamos how many? ¿O ¿En qué situaciones? When we are speaking about countable, no, for, for example. Ok, very good. Basically, when we're talking about uh, countable nouns, right? Y otra cosa que tenemos que tener en mente es que cuando usamos how many, por lo general el nombre que le sigue después de how many, tiene que ser un nombre contable y tiene que ser un nombre en plural, ¿ok? Ya que how many, recuerden, básicamente es para decir cuántos o cuántas, right? So, entonces ya es algo plural ahí. Si estamos hablando de celulares, podríamos decir how many cell phones, right? To talk about plural things. How many computers? ¿Cuántas computadoras? Y recuerden que pues el tipo de respuesta que vamos a dar ya indica una cantidad, right? There's a quantity about something, right? I want you, you, you to keep on that, that type of things. All right. Uh, today, as I told you, we're going to start over with uh, the manual. Vamos a ir directamente a la zona del manual. ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos parte de la de información que ayer no pudimos cubrir, right? Because we were explaining and we were providing some examples. <laughs> so by now we're going to do a short, a short practice, but with conversations, okay? Recordemos entonces, si usamos la estructura de how many, estamos hablando de cosas contables, right? Si yo digo, how many cell phones, right? Si bien la palabra cell phones, ya tiene ahí una zona pluralizada, right? Ya es parte eh, de algo que no solo nos estamos refiriendo a una sola cosa, sino varias, right? How many cell phones do you buy? Like, ¿Cuántos celulares compras? Right? Recordemos, después de how many, 
colocamos sobre lo que queremos preguntar. Pero esta palabra siempre tiene que ir en plural. Luego de eso, ¿qué va? Recordemos, ve la auxiliar. Do si es en primera persona o das si es en tercera persona. ¿Ok? Luego de eso, ¿ok? Acá pues vamos a, a saber cuál es el subject que vamos a colocar y luego el verbo que vamos a escoger. Si yo digo acá, how many cell phones do you buy? ¿Cuántos teléfonos o celulares compras? So, remember, the type of answers. I buy. Y acá, pues, básicamente damos una cantidad. Digamos, three cell phones. Y acá tenemos una pequeña respuesta para dicha pregunta. All right? So, recordemos, para usar how many, básicamente es esta forma. Y si estamos usando una tercera persona, how many... Let's, let's put how many computers does, for example, Soila have? Ah, ¿cuántas computadoras tiene Soila? You see, podemos colocar ya sea el nombre Soila o lo puedo poner como she. Cualquiera de las dos es aceptable. Remember that, right? Entonces acá el verbo ya cambia de have pasa a ser has. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos hablando de una tercera persona. Right? You're talking about a third person. Soy la o she has. Y acá pues podemos colocar ya el número de la, de, de, o sea, la cantidad de items que ella puede tener. En este caso estamos hablando de computadoras. So she has two computers. Right? Podemos ponerla así. She has two computers or soy la has two computers. Right? So, entonces, esto es con relación a how many. How much, recordemos que básicamente es cuando estamos hablando sobre dinero o precios de algo, right? Por lo general, por lo general, se usan nombres tanto incontables como nombres contables, right? Si estamos hablando, no sé nada, si estamos hablando del precio de algo, podemos colocar el nombre del artículo. A pesar que sea contable, pero igual usamos how much. ¿Por qué? Porque en realidad estamos preguntando sobre el precio okay, de ese artículo. So, like yesterday we were doing some examples of that. So, we're not going to be discussing that much, eh, that part today. But I would like we to practice this conversation. Pero igual me gustaría que compartiéramos un poco de... Que practicáramos un poco esta pequeña conversación que tenemos acá. Right. Sobre los usos de how many and how much. Por lo menos para conocer el vocabulario y pues igual practicar un poco a uh, la fluencia. Right. So I'm going to stop this part over here. I'm going to clear up this one over here. And what we are going to be doing like right now is just to read this short conversation that we got over here. Bien, lo que vamos a hacer ahora es practicar un poco esta conversación que tenemos acá. All right. We're going to practice this one for a, a moment. And then we are going to uh, be practicing it in pairs, right? Uh, all right, Elvin, no, no problem. So you're driving, right? So, yeah, it's just still driving. So I'm going to take it in consideration uh, at the moment of the practice. No problem, Elvin. So look at this. This short conversation that you got in here is between Ruth and Josh. Esta conversación es entre Ruth y Josh. ¿Qué vamos a hacer con esta pequeña conversación? Lo mismo que hemos hecho siempre con las conversaciones anteriores. Vamos a leerla, ¿ok? Luego, si ustedes me quieren seguir con el micrófono apagado ahí, no hay ningún problema, la vamos a leer dos veces. Después de eso, si hay alguna pregunta con relación al vocabulario, eh, lo hacemos después de la eh, lectura, ¿ok? Let's start over. He says, Ruth, listen. Hey, Josh. Hey, Josh. I have a question for you. I have a question for you. It says, do you have paid vacations at your job? Do you have paid vacations at your job? It says, Josh, yes, I do. 
Ruth, yes, I do. Ruth, how about you? How about you? It says Ruth, me too. Me too. I have paid vacations. I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? How many days do you have in your vacations? It says, Josh, 20 days to be exact. 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? It says, Ruth, I have four bonuses. I have four bonuses. What about you? What about you? And how much do you receive? And how much do you receive? It says, Josh, I have just two. I have just two. But each bonus is for more, but each bonus is for more than $600, $600, right? All right, cool. After this short reading, do you have any question with the vocabulary? ¿Hay alguna pregunta, alguna inquietud con alguna palabra? Ya sea la pronunciación o la traducción. De esta conversación. 600. 600. That's the pronunciation, right? 600. La palabra about, ¿cómo se ocupa? Right. About, en este caso acá, es una expresión, what about you? Esta de what about you se utiliza cuando usted no quiere repetir la misma pregunta que le han hecho a usted. Por ejemplo, este, what about you, es básicamente para decir, ¿y tú? O, ¿y a ti? En respuesta, ¿a qué pregunta? A esta pregunta que tenemos acá, mire. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? ¿Cuántos bonus, bonos? Tienes por año, Ruth, dice. Y acá Ruth le contesta, I have four bonuses. Tengo cuatro bonos, le dice. How about you? O sea, esta pregunta acá se utiliza, o what about you, se utiliza para no volver a repetir how many bonuses do you have per year. Simplemente se reduce a what about you. ¿Y tú? All right. Entonces es que se utiliza. Cuando no queremos repetir, la misma pregunta que nos han hecho nosotros. All right. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Una pregunta, teacher. Yes. Y si en vez de... Y si le agregáramos allí... Eh, en you, ¿cómo quedaría? Eh, básicamente estaríamos, sería lo mismo, sería lo mismo. Casi lo mismo. Exacto, solo que acá, eh, eh, digamos, este de what about you es como un poquito más formal, por así decirlo. Más, más elegante. Exacto. Adoración. Exacto. Okay. Thank you. Simplemente para eso. What do you say, Carlos? ¿Qué dijo Carlos? Yo digo que puede ser más polite la expresión. Exacto, exactly. suele ser un poco más. Ajá, más polite, más educada. Right? There you go. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? All right, just to confirm. Eh, bien, Elvi, eh, eh, porque va conduciendo, pero los demás, please turn on your cameras. Mantengamos igual las cámaras encendidas, please. 
porque si vamos a la práctica, no sé si en realidad estamos ahí, no vaya a ser que vayamos con un compañero y, y, y no esté ahí, right? So, in this case, is everybody there? Del vocabulario, uh, este, paid. No, paid. No, 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 uh -huh. paid. Paid significa pagadas. Acá se refiere a paid vacations, vacaciones pagadas. Paid es el pasado del verbo pay, que significa pagar. All right. So this is the way how we use it. All right, cool. All right, just to confirm. Emmanuel, Verónica, Jorge, Wendy, are you there? Cindy, están ahí? All right. Yes. All right. All right, perfect. Yes, yes. Perfect. Yes. All right, so what are we going to do is just to do a short practice with this conversation. Bien, como siempre lo hemos hecho, vamos a irnos a una pequeña práctica con esta estructura, ¿ok? En las cuales Elvi, porque va conduciendo, y Gustavo, porque está en el trabajo, eh, pues no la van a desarrollar, pero los demás, eh, yeah, I mean, we, we can do it, right? So just give me one second. I'm gonna stop this one, and I'm going to prepare the groups, because I need we to go to work over here. So just give me one, one second. Give me one second. Give me one second. Give right. me one. Hola, ya llegué. Ah, ya está, ya está. Okay, perfecto. Okay, okay let me see. Vamos a poner así porque Gustavo no va a estar uh, for a moment, so it's gonna be nine. You are 20 right now, so I'm going to put this one. Give me one second. Give me one second. Number seven. Number seven. Okay, cool. So let's go to work, guys. I'm going to give you five minutes for you to practice this short conversation. Then we're going to come back in here, okay? Vamos a irnos a practicar esta pequeña conversación por cinco minutos. Luego nos vamos a volver a la sala principal. All right. The idea for you is like just to practice the vocabulary, okay? For this conversation. Bien, démosle aceptar entonces. I am in Jose. Jose has joined. All right, let's put in number nine. Okay, let's join. Let's join. Empiece. Bueno, es que creí que no me escuchaba porque no me, no me lo escuché. Es que me está hablando el asistente de Google. Ay, ese teléfono está loco. <risa> Vaya, hoy sí. Hoy sí, ya le escucho bien. Ok. J-House. Así es, ¿verdad, teacher? J-House. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Hey, hey, Josh. Hey, hey Josh. Yeah, hey, hey Josh. Hey Josh. Exactly. Okay. Hey Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have pine vacation vacation at your home? Hey, job in job. this case, job. At, at your job. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, uh, yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Mm, my, my do. Me too. Me too. I have pine vacation. How money that? Mm -hmm. Do you have an in your vacation? 20 days. To be exact, 
eh, ¿cómo se dice? Exact, ¿Cómo exact, dijo? No, no, exact. 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 Uh -huh. Exact. How many bonus? ¿Cómo dijo es? Bonuses. Bonus, bonus, bonuses. ¿O cómo? Bonuses. Es que esa no, no la escribí la pronunciación. Ok. That one is bonuses. Hola. ¿Me escucha? Hoy sí, hoy sí. All right. Ese es bonuses. Bonuses. Ah, ok. Entonces sería, how many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? Yes. I have for bonuses. What about you? And how much do you react? react re, Receive. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se pronuncia el último? Receive. Receive. Yes. Do you receive? Yes. I have used to, but it but no. ¿Cómo? Hola. Michelle. Michel? Do you listen to me? Hola. ¿Me Hoy sí. Ok, ¿cuál es? El, después de I have just, just two, así ah, es. I have just two. Just two. Y ahí sería but each. Ajá, uh -huh, but each. Bonus, uh -huh, así. Exactly. Uh, bonus is for more uh -huh. than 600 dólares. Ok, yes. $600. Ok, vaya, empiezo yo. Ok. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. But each, but each bonus is for more than $600. Okay. Vaya, hoy voy a practicar si quiere con Jonathan de nuevo. Okay. Eh, Empieza usted ahora, usted va a ser Ruth, Jonathan. Hey, hey, yo, I have a question for you. Do you? Ah, ok, ¿cómo? Voy a comenzar. Hey, Josh, I have a question. I have a question. Do you have, do you have a vacation? Are you job? Yes, I do. But how about you? Me too. I have a vacation. How many days do you have? Hello, Xiomara. ¿Y usted por qué está solita? Pues, la chica me dijo que acababa de bajar y se iba a la compu. ¿Cómo fue? Entonces, por eso. Ajá. Eh, ¿Con quién era que estaba trabajando usted? Verónica, desde ahí medio nada más se conectó. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Ahorita la muevo. Sí, Verónica se había desconectado. Vamos a ver qué sala es esta. La vamos a mover a la 4. Permítanme, ahorita la mando de nuevo para acá entonces. Yeah, I mean, all right, she's here. All right, she's here. Hello, Veronica. You got the microphone off. There you go. Hola, perdón, estaba llegando y me cambié del teléfono a la computadora y me, se me desapareció todo. <laughs> no problem, you're here again. <laughs> okay, yeah, I mean, you got Xiomara here to practice, okay? Okay. Yes, I am. Hey, George. Ah, okay. I, uh, <laughs> I, 
Hey, George, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How, how about you? Me too. I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact. How many bonus do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but... I do. Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your... 20 days. Hey, Josh. I have a question for you. You have paid vacation at your home. Yes, I do. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but, but each bonus is for more. Hey. Did we practice already? ¿Ya practicamos? Yes. Sí. yes. Ok, cool. Entonces vámonos a la sala principal que quiero escuchar esas pequeñas conversaciones que vamos a hacer, ok? Let's go there. Ok. There. Ok. Yes. All right. All right, so everybody's coming uh, again over here. And now we're gonna be practicing. You know, I wanna listen to you, like, like the practice that you were doing in the breakout rooms. So that's exactly the same that we're going to be doing like right now. So I'm gonna share the short presentation, the, the short, you know, like conversation. You put it in here. And I would like, to start with the last group I was I was looking. Give me one second, I'm gonna make this bigger. All right, cool. Uh, if I'm not grown, it was Carlos, Jose, and Gilberto, right? In the last group. Ustedes tres estaban, ¿cierto? Sí, yes. All right, all right, perfect, perfect. What are we gonna do in this case? Listen up. I want Carlos to work with Jose. Then Jose is going to work with Gilberto. And then Gilberto is going to end up with Carlos, okay? And the conversation. All right, Carlos and Jose. Let's start the session. Esa banda que va cruzando por ahí. <laughs> All right. All right, let's, let's continue. All right. Santiago. Ok, Carlos. And uh, José, let's start the practice. Ok. Comienzo. All right. Comienzo, Carlos. Carlos. Carlos, can you start? Yeah, I mean, let's, let's, let's make Carlos the start. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Very good. Yes, I do. Ruth, how about you? About you. Okay, how about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days? Do you have in your vacations? 20 right. day, 20 day to be except. How many bonus do you have per year? 
Yeah, root. Mm -hmm. I have four bonus. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have use how to I have just two, okay. Ifs but bonus it, is for good if bonus is for more than hundred okay dollars six hundred dollars six hundred hundred dollars dollar dollars okay very good there you go now Jose I want you to work with Gilberto okay His house. Hey, Josh. Hey, Josh. I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your hub? Job. Job. Yes. I do, Rook. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation how many day do you have in your vacation? Okay. 20 day to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year rook? All right. I have I have for you no, for, for bonus bonus bonuses bonus what about you mm -hmm. about you and how much do you receive do you receive okay receive receive i have just Two book H but each bonus X bonus is for return a six hundred dollar. Ah, okay, very good. There you go. So thank you, Jose. Now let's end up with this. All right, let's 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 end up with this. Now, Gilberto, let's practice with Carlos. So in that case, we close up the cycle, okay. Yes. All right, Gilberto, let's start. Uh, Inicio yo. Yes. Hey, Jos, I have a question for you to, to help pay vacation a good job. Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? Receive. 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 I have just two, but each bonus is for more than six hundred dollars. Okay, very good, six hundred dollars. So thank you, Carlos, Jose, and Gilberto. You did it excellent. Now, Soila, okay, who were you teacher. working with? Cool. Okay, who was working with Soila? Who was working with Soila? ¿Quién estuvo trabajando con Soila? Let's see if you remember. Jorge Alberto, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was Jorge. It was Jorge. Jorge, right. Jorge. Okay, all right. Let's start over. Uh, Soila, can you start? Okay. Hey, George. I have a question for you. Do you have a paid vacation at your job? 
Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have a vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how many, how much do you, do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than $600. Dollars. Dollars. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Jorge. And thank you, Zoila. You did it excellent. Now, William Ernesto, who are you practicing with? Eh, Carlos Chavez y Jonathan. Ah, you were three. All right. Let's start over with Carlos. Let's start, William. Okay. Eh, okay. ¿Empiezo yo? William. Yes. Soy rudo, okay. Josh. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Voy a empezar yo. William is going to start. All right. Okay. Hey, Josh. I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days, to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. How about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than 600. Dollars. Okay. $600. Okay, cool. Now, Carlos, I want you to practice with Jonathan. Okay, I'm uh, right now. Uh, yeah. Uh, hey, George, I have a question for you. Do you have paid pay vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Rook. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Rook? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have used two, but a bonus in for more than $600. All right, but each bonus is for one, for $600. All right, there you go. So thank you, William, uh, Carlos, and Jonathan. You did it excellent, right? Now, let's move on. Let's move on with this. Uh, Michelle, who are you practicing with? Eh, con Jose Elka. All right, with Jose Ergar. Let's start over, Michelle. Let's start. Okay. Uh, hey, George. I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exactly how many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? And um, how much do you receive? I have, yay. Yes. Mm, permítame. I have just two, but age bonus is for money that's six on six one dollar. Six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Jose, and thank you, Michelle. She did it excellent. Now, Ivania, what are you practicing with, Ivania? Que me tocó con Julio Alberto, me parece. Ok, okay. inicio yo. Yes. Hey, Joss, I have a question for you. Do you have pay vacation at your job? Yes, I do. How about you? 
Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? <clears throat> 20 days to be exact. How many bottles do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bottles. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have two two. Bullet bonus and for more six hundred dollars. More than six hundred dollars. All right. There you go. Thank you, Ivania and Julio. Very Veronica. nice. Right. Veronica. It's your turn, Veronica. Uh, Hi. Who are you practicing with? With Xiomara. Ah, you were with Xiomara, right? I am in this room. Cool. All right, let's start, Veronica. Hey, Jos, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Yes, I do. How about you? Mm -hmm. I have a question. How many days? Uh, Veronica, are you still there? Tengo mala conexión. Sí, 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 me escucharon. <laughs> eh, digamos que me se, se escuchó un poco cortado. Vuelva a repetir, por favor. Ok. Hey, Jos, I assume for you. Wow. All right. Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Okay. Me too. I have a vacation. How many days do you have in vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about and how much do you receive? Okay, how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than sixty hundred dollars. Uh six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars, right? There you go. Very good. Thank you, Zumara, and thank you, Veronica. Even though you're like with the, some issues, but you 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 did it excellent. Okay, you did it excellent. Uh, Elvi. Hi, Emmanuel. You're torn. You're torn. You were working with Emmanuel, right? All right. Cool. Let's start, Elvi. Okay. Hey, Josh. I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Yes, I do. How about you? Me too. How paid vacation? How many days do you have at your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year? I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than six hundred dollars. 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 Uh, all right. There you go. Thank you. So thank you, Manuel, and thank you, Elvis. You did it excellent. Now let's say Karen, who are you working with? With Wendy. All right. Let's start, Karen. Okay. Hey Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Wendy? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many bonus do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you and how much do you receive? 
I have just two, but each bonus is for more that, than $600. Okay, perfect. More than $600. Thank you, Wendy. And thank you, Karen. You did it excellent. Now, Gerardo, who are you practicing with? Cindy Navarro. Ah, you were with Cindy. Okay. Cindy. All right, Cindy, let's start. Okay. Okay. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you hate pay vacation at your job? Yes, I do. How about you? Me too. I hate paying vacation. How many days do you hate in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year? Group? I, hate, I hate four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have you too. But each bonus is for more than $600. Ah, okay, very good. So thank you, Cindy, and thank you, Gerardo. You did it excellent. Now let me see who's missing. I got the feeling that someone is missing. All right. Uh, who else is missing? Hay algún grupito que se me ha quedado todavía? Since you got the cameras off, I cannot like, like see you guys. Hey, now everybody's like turning on the cameras. All right. I guess everybody has already participated, right? Creo que ya todos participamos. Uh, please, people, turn on the cameras. Let's remember that. All right. Before we move on to the new topic, let's remember. This is just expressions to ask about money, right? Like how much do they pay? How much do they charge? How much is it? How much do they earn every month? Ahí son preguntas usando how much, pero cuando nos referimos a dinero, right? In this, in this part, this is what we're going to be finishing uh, with this part, okay? Vamos a ir terminando con esta, este tema, eh, más que todo en esta área. Dice, circle the words the best completes the questions. Ahora bien, tenemos una pregunta acá, tenemos dos preguntas. Acá tenemos much y tenemos many. Vamos a escoger cuál mejor complementa la pregunta. Y dice, how much many do they pay? ¿Cuál me completaría mejor la pregunta? Much o many? Much. Much. Hey, there you go, because we're talking about money, right? Estamos hablando de pago, right? How much do they pay? ¿Cuánto pagan? How much do they pay? So this one is the right one over here. Now, in number two. How much many days do you have in your vacations? How many? Oh, How many? Very good. How many days do you have in your vacation? So, and we ended up with that one, right? Cool. How about this one? It says, use one of the questions about to complete the mini conversation. This one is to talk about how much and how many as well, okay? So let's do this one before we move on to the new topic. It says, it is ten fifty $10.50. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta más adecuada acá que podríamos eh, preguntar? Si, estamos, si nos están dando un precio. How much is it? Exactly. How much is it? How much is it? ¿Cuánto cuesta? It is $10.50, right? There you go. How about number two? The answer says, listen. I make 545 monthly. How many? Are you sure? Okay, estoy diciendo que él, él hace esa cantidad de, de dinero al, al mes. Okay, okay. ¿Y cómo sería entonces la pregunta? For example, how many do you earn per, per month? Ah, pero según la regla, Carlos nos dice que después de how many vamos a colocar un nombre en plural que nos indique cantidad sería how many dollars make ¿Cuántos, cuántos dólares 
Mm, nah, it doesn't make sense. No tiene mm. mucho sentido. Eh, how many, de algo como cuánto gana? Básicamente acá lo que estamos hablando es de dinero, right? Ok, entonces si dice, ¿cuánto dinero haces al mes? ¿Cómo sería? ¿Cuánto dinero haces al mes? ¿Cuánto sería? ¿O cómo sería la pregunta entonces? Ya se las estoy dando en español. How much money do you make monthly? Exactly, Karen. Thank you. Check this out. How much? How much money do you make monthly? That's the question, right? How much money do you make monthly? ¿Cuánto dinero haces mensualmente? Right? So that one is, that one is, right? Okay, now, let's continue. It says in number three, listen. They take $23 per item. They take $23 per item. So, how is the question? ¿Cómo sería la pregunta entonces? How many items they they taking? Ah, pero si estamos diciendo how many items, listen up. How many items do they take? En la respuesta yo puedo decir they take like 20 items. They take 10 items. Pero ahí nos está dando un precio. Entonces, si hacemos esa pregunta así, ya no estaríamos dando precio en la respuesta, sino más bien cantidad. Sí, sí. All right. Entonces, ¿cómo sería ahí? How much are they? Ok, cool. La pregunta comienza con how much. All right. Check this out. How much? Después Item. de how much. Hey. Después Takes. de how much. Takes con S. That. R. Do. Huh? How much? Uh, okay, listen. How much? Teacher, yo creo que sería how much take per item. How much? Do you? Do they? Right? How much do they? ¿Cuál es el verbo que tenemos ahí en la oración? En la respuesta? Take. Ah. Per item and that's the question how much do they take per item All right how much do they take per item and that's the question that we can that we can put it over here okay now the last question it says listen the company pays 690 dollars with bonuses ¿Cómo sería la pregunta La compañía paga 690 dólares con bonos. ¿Cómo sería? How much? 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 Igual, la pregunta va a comenzar con how much. Ok. How much? Um, that's how much do they pay? How much money mm. does how money company pay? How money for? do how much how much uh -huh. how much does pay? Does does pay? Does pay? Does the company does Ah, that's, that's, the that's, company. That's, that's the company. That's, that's the company. Aquí, that's the company, lo único que necesitamos ya es el verbo. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Pay. 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 Recordemos, el, el verbo pay en forma pay. base. ¿Cuál es la pregunta? How much does the company pay? ¿Cuánto paga la empresa? Ah, the company pays $690 with bonuses. Ah, la empresa paga. 650 dólares con bonos, right? So, 
I tell a pregunta. All right, there you go. So this is the way. So all the questions were with how much? Why? Because all the questions were about money. Okay, entonces, ¿qué nos dice esto? Listen, toda vez que estemos pregun haciendo preguntas con relación a dinero, siempre se va a utilizar how much, no how many. Okay, ¿por qué? Porque la palabra, listen, porque básicamente se rige por las palabras incontables y la palabra dinero es una palabra incontable en inglés. Ok. La palabra money es incontable. Entonces, por eso, toda vez que se refiere a precios de cosas o a pagos, siempre la pregunta va a ser how much, no how many. Ok. Siempre que se refiere a pagos o algo relacionado a dinero, siempre va a ser how much. All right. There you go. Cool. Now, let's continue with this. Listen, uh, we're going to stop in here with this topic because tomorrow we're going to make a short feedback again from this one, right? Mañana igual vamos a continuar eh, con otra pequeña conversación ya que mañana tenemos el general feedback de los cuatro temas principales que vamos a estar viendo. Ahora vamos a pasar al tema central de esta noche, right? That we're going to change a little bit the topic. Pero antes de nada voy a pasar asistencia. I'm going to pass the attendances, the second attendance list to start the next topic, okay? Carlos Mauricio. Okay, presente. Cool. Cindy Melanie. Present teacher. There you go. Elvi Quintanilla. Hi, present. Nice. Stephanie Michel. Present. Very good. Gustavo Adolfo. Gustavo. Are you are you yet working? Yeah, I mean apparently he's he's still working. Okay, let's move. Jorge Albert, I mean Ivania Jamilet. Present teacher. Perfect. Jorge Alberto. Jorge Alberto, are you there? Present teacher. Ah, okay. Very good. Let's move Jose Antonio. Present. Okay, perfect. Jose Edgar. Present. Okay, nice. Juan Emanuel. Juan Emanuel. Present. Ah, okay, very good. Let's move Juan Gilberto. Present. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Let's move Julio Alberto. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Julio Cesar. Present. Okay, perfect. Karen Beatriz. Present. Excellent. Luis Gerardo. Present. Good. Veronica Arely. Veronica. All right, I think Veronica has been showing some uh, issues with the internet. All right, let's move. Uh, William Ernesto. Present. Okay, Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. All right, let me see. Let's move Luis Jonathan. Present teacher. Carlos Jose. Mojito, you present. Soy la Guadalupe. Present. Okay, very good. So let's move on with the things that we got, okay? Let's move. I mean, no me mencionó. Wendy? Sí. You're there, Wendy. Ya está en la lista, Wendy. A mí ver. Yeah, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> it's there already. Okay, now let's jump into the short presentation that we're going to have for the rest of this class because we need to move on with this. Let me see, what is the presentation? I am missing here. All right, this is the one. Okay, I think you can see my presentation. So this is the video conference number four. One more, we have one week, all right, complete in this case. And tonight's topic is going to be simple present negative statements, okay? Básicamente hemos estado trabajando con oraciones afirmativas 
ok, en el presente simple, right, en primera, tercera persona, hemos estado, uh, like, asking questions, you know, practicing how to ask questions with that, y ahora vamos a entrar a lo que es oraciones uh, negativas, right, using simple present. So this is going to be like a very interesting topic because it's something that we generally use very often, okay? Like really, really often. So let's start over. What is the class agenda for this topic? It was the review from the previous class, something that we have done, algo que acabamos de terminar, el repaso de la clase anterior. Now we're gonna start over with the simple present, negative statements in first person and plural. After that, we're gonna be discussing the Simple present negative statement, but using third person in singular. After that, we're gonna go to the manual and work in some activities related to the negative statements. And that's pretty much what we have. Entonces, esto es como lo más relevante que tenemos para esta hora de clase, okay? El uso de la primera persona y los plurales en negativo, al igual que el uso de la tercera persona, okay? Cuando estamos hablando ya de oraciones negativas. This is going to be like kind of short because what it matters in here is the practice that you are going to do, okay? That's what it matters. What we are going to be practicing. Now, let's start over. Check this out. It says, simple present negative statements. Vamos a comenzar con la primera persona y los plurales. Okay, and let's start with the structure. Recordemos que una oración afirmativa consta de un subject, consta de un verbo y de un complemento. Si estamos hablando de las actividades que nosotros hacemos diariamente, ok, podemos decir, I go to work every day. Voy a trabajar todos los días, right? Ya esa es una oración afirmativa y es una oración que estamos hablando sobre las actividades que nosotros realizamos Okay, de manera rutinaria, right? But in this case, what we're going to do is just to mention those activities that we don't do generally. Y esta es la estructura con la cual vamos a estar trabajando. This is the structure that we need to create examples and sentences in negative. Okay. Entonces, como siempre, al principio lo que vamos a necesitar es un subject. Recordemos que un subject bien puede ser Cualquier pronombre, ya sea I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. O podemos sustituirlo con un nombre propio. Right? In that case. After that, después del subject, ese do que tenemos ahí es el verbo auxiliar. Recordemos que el verbo auxiliar no solamente se utiliza para preguntas sino que también para formar oraciones negativas, ¿ok? Entonces, en este caso, tenemos do como verbo auxiliar y luego tenemos not, do not, right? Ese do not es cuando ya formamos el negativo, right? Ok, que contractado, contractado por lo general, solemos contractarlo, ya de la forma contractada recordemos, ya sería don't, don't de esta manera, ¿ok? Nos quedaría ya de esta manera. Don't. All right. Let's continue with this. All right. After that, we need a main verb. Después de eso, necesitamos un verbo principal, el cual nos va a indicar la acción de la cual vamos a hablar. Y luego lo último que necesitamos será el complemento, ¿ok? Para ser más específico sobre lo que estamos hablando. So this is pretty much what we need to create negative examples. All right? Let's see some of them for you to understand better this, this part. All right? Let's see some of them. All right, check this out. I do not play soccer, right? I do not play soccer. It's like, ah, no juego fútbol, right? I do not play soccer. Ahí lo estoy haciendo de una manera bastante formal. ¿Por qué? Porque no estoy usando ninguna contracción, ¿ok? Ya, 
si yo quisiera eh, usar una contracción acá, entonces ya sería más o menos así. I don't play, play. soccer. You see? Y ahí ya la tenemos de una manera un tanto más informal. Pero ambas significan lo mismo, ¿ok? La diferencia es que acá cuando no uso una contraction, por lo general es más formal que cuando usamos contracciones. All right? That's the only difference. Esa es la única diferencia. All right, let's continue. William, help me out reading this one. You don't have a day off. Okay, you don't have a day off, right? No tienes día libre. You don't have a day off. Okay, thank you. So in that case, if you take a look, it, it's like when we mentioned this type of activities for a second person, right? Soila, let's read this one. You don't have a day off. Uh, the next one, the next one, Soila. We, we do not work on Sunday. Okay, we do not work on Sundays. Aquí igual la, pregunta, la, 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 la oración ya es un tanto formal, right? Porque no estamos usando ningún tipo de contracción. We do not work on Sundays. Ah, entonces acá ya estamos hablando de un plural. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos hablando de nosotros, ¿ok? Ahí es nosotros. We do not work on Sundays. No trabajamos los domingos, right? That's the way. So what does... That's what it means over there. And we got the last one in here. Michelle, help me a reading. They practice. Aha, uh -huh, Michelle. They don't practice. Now, ah, okay. Thank you, Michelle. All right. They don't practice English. That's what it says. Right, they don't practice English. Ah, ellos no practican inglés. All right, if you take a look in there, all of the sentences are in negative, okay? Bien, entonces acá lo que hacemos alusión es a, pre, a respuestas o a oraciones, por así decirlas, en primera persona negativa sobre actividades que nosotros no hacemos para mencionar una segunda persona, okay? Y cuando estamos mencionando los plurales, right? Recordemos que para mencionar una primera persona, una segunda persona y un plural, por lo general usamos do, ¿ok? Como verbo auxiliar. Ya para las terceras personas, ya vamos a ver la estructura más adelante. So, but this one, it's just do plus not, remember, that contracted in this case is don't, right? All right. So one activity that I don't do like every day in my work, for example, what's it up? I don't use, listen up, I don't use tennis in my work. I don't use tennis in my work. So in este caso, yo estoy mencionando que yo no uso tennis en mi trabajo, right? So, esa es una actividad que yo no suelo hacer, right? Like that I don't do. Ahora bien, vamos a mencionar qué actividades nosotros no hacemos en el trabajo. Piensen en una y me la dicen. Cuando la tengan, enciendan su micrófono y me la leen. Pueden escribirla, you can write it down, no problem. But if you have it in your head, just turn on the microphone and let me know, ¿ok? Thinking one activity that you don't do. Pensemos en una actividad que no solemos hacer. Ya sea en el trabajo más que todo. What don't you do in your work? Let's think. Cuando ya la tengan, enciendan su micrófono y me la leen. Yo, teacher. All right. I don't run in my job. Ah, okay, very good. You don't run in your job, right? No corre en su trabajo, right? That's, that's cool. Okay, teacher, I have, I have one. Okay. Uh, I don't have relax in my work. Okay, cool. You don't have a relaxing time in your work? There you go. Thank you, Carlos. I do not sleep in my work. Ah, okay, very good. You don't sleep in your work? There you go. Any other one? Alguien más? 
me. Okay. I don't operate the printing machine. Ah, okay. Very good. I operate the machines. Okay. Cool. All right, Emmanuel. Uh, I don't use the cell phone in my work. Ah, okay. okay, very good. I don't use the cell phone in my work. There you go, Gilberto. I don't use printer in my work. Okay, very good. You don't use the printer in your work. Very good. Thanks. I don't play video game in my work. <laughs> okay, very good. There's another one to do. Okay, there you go. Any other one? Alguien más? I don't fish, I work. I don't? Fight, I work. Ah, you don't fight in your work. Okay, very good. No pelea en el trabajo. Okay, very Thank good. Chef. I All do right. not use my phone at work. Okay, you don't use your cell phone in your work. Very good, Jose. Soyla? I don't never in my job. I don't? I don't see. No, I don't watch uh, Netflix in my job. Ah, okay, you don't watch Netflix in your job. Okay, very good. There's another one. Cool. Somebody else? I teach you. Okay, William. I don't listen to music in my job. Now, okay, you don't listen to music in your job. Perfect. Somebody else? Somebody else that has already finished? Yo. Okay, Michelle. I don't drink coca. What? Ah, uh, coca. Si. ¿Sí? Which coca? I mean, I mean, read it again. Leala de nuevo. I don't drink coca cola in ah, my work. Okay. Ah, Coca-Cola. All right. Very good. Thank you, Michelle. There you go. Julio, let's read. I don't play for my, for my work. Uh, I don't? Late. La late sería. Late de llegar. Ah, I don't arrive late. Arrive late for my work. For my work. Okay. Very good. There you go. Thank you, Julio. Uh, Julio Cesar, did you participate already? Yes, I don't play video game in my work. <laughs> I mean, that was that was the one, right? Okay, cool. Yes. Thank you. Thanks. Carlos Gamero. Yeah, I think Carlos has not participated yet. Carlos, did you participate already? I don't listen music in my, in my job. Ah, uh, okay, all right. No problem, mister. All right, cool. Cindy? Um, I don't sing in my work. Ah, okay, no, you don't sing in your work. Okay, cool. Jose Pineda? Jose, do you have your answer? I mean, your, your sentence? Jose. Hola, sí, ahorita. Okay. All right. I don't, I don't risk at work. I don't? Rest at work. Ah, okay, you don't rest at work. Very good. Gerardo? I don't smoke in weed in my world. <laughs> okay, all right. That's another, another example, right? You don't smoke weed in your work. Okay, cool. I mean, that's acceptable. There you go. Wendy? I don't speak English in my work. Ah, okay. You don't speak English in your work. Very good. All right. Somebody else that, that, that wants to participate? Me, teacher. Okay, cool. I don't watch videos at my work. 
<laughs> okay, very good. You don't watch videos at your work. Perfect. There you go. Hey. Te iba a pensar que William y Michelle tienen el mismo fondo, pero es una luz que está como en una ventana. Pareciera que los dos tienen el mismo, el mismo fondo. That was, that was crazy. Okay, cool. I think most of you have already gave the examples, right? Examples. Okay, cool. Let's move on. This one is just about first person, okay? Let's remember the examples that you have gave me is just about first person. Now, let's move on and let's do the ones for third person. Now, this one is when we use third person and this is the structure. Look, what is the change in this case? Look, el cambio que sufre aquí básicamente es en cuanto a la estructura es que ya no utilizamos do, sino que das para poder uh, crear oraciones, ok, hablando sobre otra persona. Generalmente cuando hablamos de alguien más, right? So in that case, we use does plus not. En este caso sería doesn't. Remember that, ok? Doesn't. Like this. Doesn't. This is the way how we do it. Okay. Now, let's see some examples with this structure. Let me see who can help me out with this. Uh, let's put someone that has not participated that much. Ivania, help me out reading this example, please. She does not send text message. Messages, okay, very good. She does not send text messages. In that case, uh, the example is very formal, right? Because in that case, I don't have any contraction. I don't have doesn't. I have does not it's a little bit more polite okay now julio alberto let's read this one he does speak two languages okay he doesn't speak two languages it's like when we mention like el no habla dos idiomas right so that's what it wants to say that part so in that case, we're talking about somebody else, right? So help me out reading Wendy. Carlos does not read books. Okay, very good. Carlos does not read books. That's another clear example about this, right? Now, the last example. Uh, let me see. Gilberto, help me out reading. Senia. Uh, yes. Senia doesn't wash her clothes. 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 Okay. Thank you, mister. So it says Senia doesn't wash her clothes, right? Ah, Senia no lava su ropa. So in this case, as I mentioned, we are basically writing down examples about an extra person, right? A third person. Example. So, do we have any question with this? Bien, ¿hay alguna duda con respecto a esta estructura? ¿De cómo usarla en tercera persona? No? Ok, cool. Es que siempre vamos a usar por ley, como dicen, doesn't, ¿verdad? Or That's does. right. Or, or, or not. It does not. Very good. Both of them can be used. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre ellas dos? Que cuando usamos does not es más formal que doesn't. Ok. Esa es la única diferencia. Right. Que una es más formal que la otra. Pero ambas significan exactamente lo mismo. Ok. So this is the way how we put it that, that, that into the practice. All right. Let me see. Let's start over with the examples because I really want we to create a series of examples using this structure. Ahora bien, quiero que escojan a un compañero de los que tienen ahí en sus cuadrículas 
y quiero que me elaboren una oración en la cual mencionen alguna actividad de manera negativa de ese compañero. ¿Ok? For example, let's say, huh, uh, Jorge Alberto doesn't turn on the camera. Jorge Alberto no enciende la cámara. You see, I got one example. There you go. So I want you to choose one of your classmates and do one example in negative. Okay, teacher, I have one. All right, Carlos, go on. Uh, LB. Okay. LB doesn't make pupusas today. Okay, LB doesn't make pupusas today, okay? LB no hace pupusas ahora, okay? There you go. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, teacher. Okay. <laughs> También escogí a Elvi. Elvi does not buy computing in her work. Ah, ok, very good. Hey, Elvi, no <laughs> está, está solicitada con los ejemplos, Elvi. Ok, cool. ¿Somebody else? Yo, teacher. Ok, let's move. Eh, puse, bueno, ya que mencionó que teníamos el mismo fondo, <laughs> puse a Michelle. <laughs> ok, so, all right, there you go. Michelle doesn't eat pizza in your job. In her job. Oh, sorry, in her job. Okay, very good. <laughs> All right. Eso es mentira, dice Michelle, con gran pedazo de pizza en el trabajo. Man. <laughs> There you go. Thank you, William. Uh, somebody else? Um, Soily uh -huh. doesn't drink beer. Ah, okay, there you go. Soyla doesn't drink beer. Y dice Soyla. Oh, yeah, Soyla. Y dice, uh, y dice Soyla. Excuse me. No, porque nada. Nada. All right, there you go. Cool. Somebody else that has finished? Alguien más que haya terminado? Turn on the microphone and read the example. Yo okay. tengo. Okay, cool. doesn't have dogs in her house. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, so, uh, Xiomara. Cindy? Um, Soyla doesn't work in today. Doesn't work. Work today. Very okay, good. okay, work today. Very good. Soyla doesn't work today. Very nice. Julio Alberto? Mm. Gerardo doesn't. Get up late. Ah, okay, very good. <laughs> Gerardo doesn't get, all right, get up late. Yeah, I mean, he cannot get up late. No se puede despertar, no se puede levantar tarde, right? Yeah, I mean, creo que es el que más temprano se levanta de todos. Tres y media, right, Gerardo? Yes. <laughs> Tres. Igual, igual, teacher. Man. ¿Ah? <laughs> igual, así me toca a mí también. Yo, yo soy la 3.30 de yeah. la mañana. Yes, teacher. Es crazy. <laughs> ok, man. That's too early. Too early. All right. Let's go. José Edgar. Verónica does not eat pizza. Ah, ok, Verónica does not eat pizza. Very good. Eat, ok. Perfect, thank you, Jose. There you go. Somebody else? Wendy? You finished? Ivania doesn't use glasses today. Ah, ok. Ivania doesn't use her glasses today. Does Ivania use glasses? Do you use glasses, Ivania? No. Ah, okay. <laughs> you go. All right. Eh, yo, yo, okay, go. Eh, Xiomara doesn't has cat in your house. Ah, uh, Xiomara doesn't has cat in your house. Ah, uh, doesn't have doesn't have cats in her job. Okay. All right. Very good. In her job. Ah, ahora entiendo por qué, por qué le mencionaban lo de las gafas 
a Wendy, es que como su fondo está con gafas, right? That's why. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, somebody else has finished? ¿Alguien más que haya terminado? Yo. All right, Jorge Alberto, then uh, Michelle, I think. Jorge. Yeah, okay. You, Jorge. Uh, we, William doesn't play soccer today. Ah, okay, William doesn't play soccer today. There you go. Michelle and then Emmanuel. Uh, Wendy doesn't eat hamburger in her house. Ah, okay, very good. There you go. Emmanuel and then Karen. Okay, uh, Gilberto doesn't play tennis okay. in her job. His job. His, His job. job, sorry. Yes, sorry. very good. All right, thank you, Emmanuel. Karen? Wendy doesn't drink coffee at night. Ah, okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, and Wendy, like, with a cup of coffee, they're like, yes, I'm drinking coffee. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Karen. All right, who else has finished? Gilberto? Ivania doesn't read books. Okay, very good. Ivania doesn't read books. Very good. Somebody else? Veronica, do you read your example? Ya leyó su ejemplo. Uses dresses in her job. Ah, read it again, please. No lo escuché bien. Podría leerlo otra vez, por favor. Karen uses dress in her job. Ah, Karen doesn't use dress. Uh -huh. Ah, vestidos okay. en su trabajo. Okay, very good. Karen then doesn't Karen doesn't use dresses in her job. Okay, very yes. good. Perfect. There you go. Uh, Jonathan, did you participate already? No, teacher. Okay. Uh, William doesn't is football. William doesn't is football. Is football. It's football. Ah, uh, lo último no le no le entiendo mucho, Jonathan. William doesn't is soccer. Eh, creo que sería mejor play soccer. Que juega play fútbol. Soccer. Que no juega fútbol. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, entonces sí. William doesn't play soccer. That would be the, 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 the example. Thank you, Jonathan. Good. Uh, Jose Pineda, did you participate already? Yes. Ya participó? No. Ah, okay. Okay. Carlos does uh, uh -huh. if much he who's Yep. Okay, all right. Very good. That's acceptable. Carlos doesn't need much. There you go. Gerardo? Carlos. Ajá, Carlos? Carlos no come mucho, solo se alimenta. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Carlos doesn't need that much. All right. There you go. Thank you, Jose. Gerardo? Let's read your example. Gilberto doesn't eat in your area of the world. In his work area. Okay. His, his work area. Recordemos que cuando ya estamos hablando de una tercera persona, ya no vamos a decir your. Okay. Eso siempre tengámoslo en cuenta. El your desaparece en este tipo de ejemplos. ¿Por qué? Porque your es para cuando nosotros mencionamos directamente a esa persona. Por ejemplo, si yo estoy hablando directamente con usted, Gerardo, yo le puedo decir, listen, you don't have your cell phone with you. Ah, no tienes tu teléfono contigo. You don't have your cell phone, your cell phone with you. Pero si estoy hablando de una tercera persona, ya ahí entra en juego 
posesivos más. ¿Cuáles son esos posesivos? A, tenemos her y tenemos his. ¿Ok? Her es para referirnos a la posición o relación de una mujer y his para la posición o relación de un hombre. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, si estoy hablando con usted, Gerardo, sobre el be, yo le puedo decir, el be doesn't, listen up, el be doesn't have her computer. Ah, ahí estoy usando her. Ok. O si le digo, Carlos doesn't buy his food. Ah, Carlos no compra su comida. His food. Ok. So, entonces, así es la, la forma en cómo utilizamos los posesivos. Ok. Her para mencionar una posesión de ella. His para mencionar una posesión de él. Ok. There you go. Ok. Perfect. I think everybody has already finished, right, with the examples. Eh, creo que todos ya me leyeron los ejemplos que tenían. All right. If nobody's missing, let's move out with this. Let's move. Okay. Now, let's jump into the manual. Bien, ahora nos vamos a ir al manual. Okay. Específicamente donde tenemos esta estructura. Okay. Like explained. Give me one second. I'm gonna put it in here so you can you can see it clearly. It's going to be in page 17, 18. Let's go to the page 18, people. Vámonos a la página 18 para los que tienen el manual eh, abierto, que sea en la computadora or in your cell phone. Uh, specifically to this to this one to this page over here just give me one second people i'm going to search this computer because it's about to get disconnected Oh, yeah, man. It's, it's, it's this one. Look, it says grammar extra practice. Simple present for third person singular and plural. It says negative statements. Check this out. In here, it's what we basically were practicing. Esto es básicamente parte de lo que hemos estado practicando. Check this out. Dice, she does not work on weekends. Ella no trabaja los fines de semana. You say, she does not work on weekends. They do not have much time. Ellos no tienen mucho tiempo. They do not have much time. Entonces acá está básicamente la estructura que estuvimos viendo hace un momento. Ya sea en primera o tercera persona. Dice que primero va el subject. ¿ok? Después del subject, ¿qué va? Ah, el auxiliar. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar? Do si es primera persona, segunda persona o plurales. Does si es tercera persona. Luego not, luego el verbo principal y luego el complemento. So we got some examples in here. Y acá tenemos algunos ejemplos, right? The ones that we're going to be reading. Cindy, help me a reading example number one. Maria doesn't not work at HP. BC. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Wendy, help me out reading the second example. Marcos does not stay late at work. Ah, okay. Very good. Xiomara, read number three. Juan and Pedro do not write reports. Ah, okay. Very good. ¿Por qué tenemos do not acá y no das? Recordemos, porque acá estamos... Porque es plural. Exactly. Estamos hablando de dos personas, right? Juan and Pedro. Y ahí es como que nosotros digamos they, right? There you go. Soyla, let's read number four. We, we do not send letters. Okay, very good. We do not send letters, right? So that's another one very good. Okay, cool people. I guess, I guess we have understood this far. 
creo que ese tema eh, ha quedado bastante claro, ¿ok? Cómo usar don't, cómo usar doesn't, ¿ok? Ya sea en primera, tercera persona o cuando estamos hablando en plurales, ¿ok? Ahora bien, vamos a hacer una pequeña actividad con esta parte. All right, just to be ending up. Look, in this part, you got six possible or six lines in here that they need to be filled, right? ¿Y qué dice la indicación? Dice, look, write six negative sentences about you and a colleague. Escriba cinco oraciones negativas sobre, I mean, seis oraciones negativas sobre usted y un colega. Ok, ¿cómo lo vamos a hacer? Listen, nos vamos a ir a trabajar en parejas, como hemos estado en los breakout rooms, con la diferencia que acá vamos a escribir tres oraciones personales sobre actividades que ustedes no hacen y tres actividades con la persona que ustedes van a estar trabajando que él o ella no hace en su trabajo. ¿Ok? Supongamos que Julio trabaja con Karen. Julio va a poner sus tres oraciones acá. Julio puede decir, I don't take a shower. I don't eat breakfast. I don't go to work. Ah, las tres de Karen. Karen doesn't uh, eat pupusas. Karen doesn't live with her family. Karen doesn't drive to work. So, y ahí tenemos tres de él y tres de Karen, ¿ok? So, in that case, ahí vamos a estar practicando don't and doesn't, ¿ok? So, this is the way how we're going to be doing. Cool. Voy a dejar de compartir entonces. Vamos a crear los breakout rooms y nos vamos a poner esta, esta actividad y luego las vamos a leer, ¿ok? We're going to come back in here and we're going to read them up. Uh, just to confirm, solo para confirmar, José Pineda, José Edgar y Jonathan, ¿están ahí? Sí, teacher, aquí yes. estamos. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes. Perfecto, entonces solo Gustavo creo que sí, todavía está inhabilitado. So in that case, we are 22, 21. Me va a quedar uno de tres. All right, me va a quedar un grupito de tres. Este grupito que quede de tres. ¿Cómo lo va a hacer acá? Me van a hacer dos por cada uno. ¿Ok? Dos personales y dos de cada uno de los compañeros con los cuales estén trabajando. ¿Ok? That's the way how we're going to be doing. Cool. Just give me one second. I'm going to recreate the groups again. Give me one second. Just let me see, I got some of you in here. All right, let's go to work in this case, okay? Bien, abramos los breakout rooms, vámonos a trabajar, trabajar entonces. And then we're gonna come back when you finish, okay? Let's do it. Gilberto, Michelle. Wendy, Elby, Xiomara, let's go to work. Okay. Yeah. Dos serían. In this case, yeah, en este caso serían dos y dos y dos, right? Emanuel va a escribir sus primeras dos y en su libreta ahí va a escribir las dos actividades que Jonathan no hace y dos actividades que usted, Ivania, no hace. Luego Jonathan van a escribir las dos de él, luego dos de Emanuel y dos suyas. Y así sucesivamente. Okay, right? There you go. Okay.
Estamos haciendo las nuestras teachers. Ah, ok. Comiencen con las personales y luego pues se comparten las que tienen, ok. Ahí digo. Ok. I don't write. No, I don't write in bicycle. Okay. And my work, dijo. Mm -hmm. Weekends. I don't work on weekends. On weekends. La otra. I don't drive to work. To work. Yes, la the drink. I don't drink wine. Drink. Wine, como vino, W I N E. Wine. N E. Oui. Why, mine? Okay. Okay. Le digo cómo me quedaron las suyas. Diga. Gilberto doesn't eat pupusas. Gilberto doesn't like the piano. Gilberto doesn't read books. Yes, está bien. ¿Y vos lo pondrías en vos lo pondrías en primera persona si sí. alguien solicitaba Ahí. ayuda por acá si sí. yes teacher eh, no entendíamos ahí vaya yo le decía al compañero que eh, vaya así por decirlo yo en mi trabajo puedo poner no me gusta o sea no en mi trabajo no como no uso computadora en mi trabajo. Vaya, sencillo. Entonces su oración sería I don't use a computer in my work o in my job. Ok. Ok. Esas serían, o sea, tendría que ser tres. Tres de usted. Yes. Que usted no hace, tres actividades que usted no hace. Ya sea en su trabajo o fuera de él. Ok. okay. Luego, luego, igual, Julio va a hacer otras tres de él que no hace ya sea en su trabajo, ok, o uh -huh. en, fuera de él. Luego se las van uh -huh. a compartir y usted, usted, las que no. Julio le mencione, usted va a poner Julio doesn't y luego lo demás que Julio debe. Uh -huh. Primero hacemos la, las tres de nosotros, como pusamos, después. Ah, y ya. luego las tres del compañero. Ya. Yeah. Okay. 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 Un ejemplo de ello, si Julio le okay. dice a José, I don't take a shower. Ah, no me baño. Entonces usted va a poner, José, Julio doesn't take a shower. Uh -huh. okay. Julio uh -huh. doesn't take a shower. Uh -huh. no, se, no se baña. Exactly. Doesn't take a shower. Right? Ya me adivinaron, pero bueno. <laughs> That's the model of example, ¿ok? Bien. Cool. Uh -huh. Cualquier pregunta, entonces ahí estamos, ¿ok? Ok. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Gracias. Ok, cool. Va, ah, pues si querés hacer. Sí. Teacher, una consulta. Yeah, tell me. Eh, son tres negativas. Suyas y tres y negativas de, de Elvi. Y nosotros, ajá, y nosotros vamos a, a relatar las tres negativas de, del compañero. Exactly. Por ejemplo. Ah, okay. Por ejemplo, puede... yo le dije, I, not, I do not play soccer. Entonces él va a decir, Elvi. Elvi doesn't, doesn't, doesn't play soccer. Play soccer. Exactly, exactly. Ajá, ah, claro. pues, solo queríamos. Tres personales que y no. tres del compañero. Ok, ok. okay. <ríe> yeah, very good. Vaya, la primera mía es I don't es work, ¿va? ¿Cómo vamos acá? Are we about to finish? Una, una nos falta, me falta copiar una de, jo, de Jorge Alberto. Ok, perfect, perfect. 
Perfecto. Uh, I don't play video games in my job. Tengo. No, tengo como siestas en mi casa. Ah, no, no tiene siestas en casa. Entonces, ah, como tiene... dormir, como dormir en la tarde son siestas. Eh, eh, sí, teacher, hoy que está aquí, aquí con nosotros. Ajá. ¿Cómo se podría decir eso en inglés? Que no tiene siestas en el día de ella, cuando está en casa. She doesn't have. She doesn't. No, 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 no pongamos have. She doesn't take. Sí. Y, y yo puse, okay. I don't, yo puse, take I don't take sleep in my house. No, no, no. Así. Es, no, es, no es sleep, es nap. 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 Es take a nap, take a nap, ¿verdad? Exactly, nap, N-A-P, take a nap. Take a nap es tomar una siesta. She doesn't take a nap in her house. Exactly, ah. there you go, yes. Thank you, teacher. All right. Entonces yo sería, entonces para mí sería I don't take a nap in my house. Sí, exactly. así sería, sí. Um, vaya. Thank you. You're, You're finished. Okay. Se la decimos. Okay. Uh, no, nos vamos a ir a la sala principal. Ahí la vamos a ver, ¿ok? Yo lo voy a revisar un, un, una parejita más. Luego nos vamos a la sala principal, ¿ok? Hello, teacher. Did everybody I finish? finish. Yeah, finish. I finish. finish. Okay. Ya estamos ready. Okay. <laughs> ready. Cool, cool, pero, cool. Pero, así me, pero ready para sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, kind of, kind of ready. Five more minutes no, no, and no. you're ready to sleep. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Vámonos a la sala principal, pues, para terminar. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <See you there. laughs> Okay, so we are coming back. We're gonna read what we had, what we did, and then we are going to finish with this class, okay? Cool. Soila, you were working with Hello. William, right? I am in Soila okay. and William. Okay. Los en la lista. Yeah. So let's Excellent. do it. Right, let's do it, man. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, bueno, Soyla. que comience, comience ella. Yeah, Soila, okay. bring yours. Bye. Um, he does much serious in his job. Uh -huh. William doesn't eat hamburgers on weekend. Okay. Uh, William doesn't buy clothes every day. Ah, okay, cool. Esas son las tres de William. Now, William, read the mm -hmm. examples from Soyla. Okay. William, no se nos vaya la última. Me quedo. Come on, man. Come on, man. Besides, in her job. Ah, ¿Sí, okay. ¿Sí yeah. me escuchó? No, no. no. Yeah, ah, va. Let's, va, let's perdón. Read again. Pero hoy sí, me, hoy sí me escucha. Ok, yeah, now, now yeah. Oh, ok. Eh, Soyla doesn't make exercise in her job. All right. Doesn't do exercise. Do, no make. Do. Ah, do, do, do. Ah, ya, yeah, ya. Yes, yeah. Ok. Yes. Ah, Para bueno. hacer ejercicio es do. Ah, va, ok. Eh, Soyla doesn't listen music in her job. Ok. Soyla doesn't, uh, Soyla doesn't watch TV in her job. Ah, ok. Very good. So, thank you, Soyla. And thank you, William. You did it excellent. Now, ok. Carlos Chávez. Ok, teacher, I'm here. All right. Mention... Oh. Mention the three activities that you wrote about Michelle. Okay, about Fanny, puse yo porque, porque creo que me Stephanie. Vaya. Yeah, Stephanie, Michelle. Este, okay. the, the first one. All right. Fanny doesn't run in her house. Ella no corre en su casa. Ah, okay, cool. The second ah, one. Yo, yo ya la vi correr. Okay, cool. Bueno. The second one, Fanny doesn't have a dinner. Ah, okay. Very strange. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. la, the last one, Fanny doesn't take a nap in her house. Okay, very good. Now, Michelle, 
Ra, eh, listen. Give me one second. Read the examples that you have about Carlos. Okay. Eh, Carlos doesn't use bathroom in his yo. Oh, okay. In his yo. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. eh, Carlos does not eat fish in his yo. Okay. Y Carlos doesn't eat egg. Ah, okay. Carlos doesn't eat eggs. Okay. That's weird, man. <laughs> All right. That's weird. All right. Thank you, Carlos and Michelle. You did it excellent. <laughs> cool. Xiomara, who are you working with? With Conmigo. Ah, with Cindy. Okay, Xiomara. Read the three sentences that you have about Cindy. Okay. She doesn't use the phone in her job. Okay. She doesn't sing in her job. Good. And she doesn't take pictures in her job. Okay, very good. Now, Cindy, tell me the sentences that you have about Xiomara. She doesn't not sleep at work. She doesn't sleep she... at work. Uh -huh. She doesn't not pay shoes at work. And Xiomara doesn't not use a basic bicycle at work. Okay. Solo que el extra not que tiene después de doesn't, eh, elimíneselo, ¿ok? Ah, ok, ok. Sí, porque ya, ya va incluido en el doesn't, el not. Ok, teacher. Okay, perfect, Cindy. Thank you. And thank you, Xiomara. All right. Karen, who are you working with? Karen? Hello, Karen. Sorry. <laughs> okay. With Gilberto. All right, read the examples about Gilberto. Gilberto doesn't eat pupusas. Gilberto doesn't like the piano. Okay. Gilberto doesn't read books. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Man, le valgo lo de los libros y lo del piano, pero pupusas, man. Jesus, man. <laughs> Qué pecado. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Gilberto, now read the examples that you have about Karen. Okay. Karen doesn't go on weekend. Okay. Karen doesn't dry to go. Okay. Karen doesn't drink wine. 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 Okay, very good. Thank you, Gilberto, and thank you, Karen. You did excellent. Now, uh, okay. em Emmanuel. Emmanuel, I think you and there were two people, two more people, right? Ustedes eran el grupo de tres, si no me equivoco, right? Yes. All right, it was Jonathan, Emmanuel, and Ivania. Ivania. Okay. Jonathan, comience usted. Mencioneme eh, tres actividades de Ivania. Bueno, oh, dos actividades Ivania. de Ivania. Dos, porque son de tres. Ya me, ya me acordé. Ivania, she doesn't phone on at work. At work, okay. Ivania, she doesn't. All right. I don't watch in class. Okay, she doesn't watch, watch, it, watch her, her clothes. Her clothes. Ah, okay, she doesn't wash her clothes. Okay, very good. Thank you, Jonathan. All right, Ivania, okay. give me two activities that Emmanuel doesn't do. Okay, Emmanuel doesn't check social page on the computer. Okay. Emmanuel doesn't like onion. Ah, okay. There you go. Thank you, Anya. All right. Doesn't yeah. like onion. Just almost does, Emmanuel. <laughs> I don't like onions either. All right. Emmanuel, give me two activities that Nathan does. I mean, doesn't do. Emmanuel, are you there? Hello. Emmanuel. Se durmió quizá. Okay. No, he's there. Yes. All right, Emmanuel. 
Yeah, yeah, know? yeah. Okay, okay. Sorry. Uh, Jonathan, Jonathan doesn't like to fight with someone. Ah, okay. And Jonathan doesn't like to play soccer. Ah, okay. Jonathan doesn't like to play soccer. Very good. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you, Jonathan, and thank you, Ivania. You did it excellent. Okay, cool. Veronica? Mm, with Gerardo. Gerardo, okay. Give me those activities that Gerardo doesn't do. He doesn't eat in his job. Okay. Gerardo doesn't smoke in his Okay, doesn't job. smoke in and his job. And he doesn't drink. Okay, cool. Very exotic. That's okay. Cool. Gerardo, read the examples of Veronica. Veronica doesn't drink Coca Cola in the world. All right. She doesn't listen to reggaeton in the world. Salawat Bunny. <laughs> okay. She doesn't work in the supermarket. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Gerardo and Veronica. There you go. Uh, let me see who's missing. Yeah, I'm about to finish. Solo me faltan como dos para pasar asistencia. Just give me one second. Uh, Jose Pineda and Jose Edgar, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Jose, read the activities that he doesn't do. Alberto me tocó a mí. Ah, ok. All right. Hola. Yeah, was with Alberto, right? Ok, José. Cool. José Pineda, let's read your activities. The activities that you and your classmates were working on. El nombre no me recuerdo del compañero. Que... <laughs> ok, oh. ¿Quién, ¿quién trabajó con José Pineda? Yo. Jorge. Yeah. Okay, all right. It was Jorge, Jose. Okay. Jorge, I don't. He doesn't. doesn't he doesn't. Eat. He doesn't. Is green in the, the set. Okay, all right. Read the second example. Jose? I don't listen to music. Okay, that's personally. Personally. Pero necesito las que las que las que tiene de Jorge. Okay. Ah, okay. Sí. Ah, sí, sí. El nombre. Ajá. Yes. Jorge. Jorge. I don't. Jorge doesn't. Jorge. Jorge. I doesn't Jorge. listen to music. Jorge doesn't listen to music, okay. ¿Y la última? Jorge, Jorge. Doesn't. Doesn't sleep at work. Okay, Jorge doesn't sleep at work. Very good, Jose. Jorge, read the three examples that you have about Jose. Okay, uh, Jose doesn't play video games. Okay. Jose doesn't read books in okay. his job. Very good. Jose doesn't eat pasta. Okay, Jose doesn't eat pasta. There you go. Thank you, Jorge and Jose. You did it excellent. Cool. Okay. All right, who else has finished? ¿Quién más me falta? ¿Quién no ha participado? Hi. All right, Elby. Cool. Who were you working with? Yo okay. tampoco. Okay, Jose. <laughs> You're next. Okay. okay. Um, Julio doesn't smoke at work. Okay. Um, Julio doesn't do play basketball. Okay. He doesn't play video game. Very good. Julio, read the three examples that you have about her. Okay. Elby doesn't drink beer. She doesn't eat fish. Okay. Elvi doesn't sleep in work. Oh, okay. Very good. 
Thank you, Julian. Thank you, Elvi. Okay. Cool. Jose Edgar. Con Jorge Alberto me tocó, pero ya pasó. Okay, no problem. Let's move on. Léame los de él, no se preocupe. Jorge doesn't basketball. Doesn't play basketball. Ajá, Jorge doesn't play basketball. Okay, very good. Jorge doesn't listen to music at work. Okay. Alberto doesn't play video game at work. Ah, okay, very good. So there were the examples that you got. Thank you, Jose Edgar. Okay, cool. ¿Quién más me falta? Who else is missing? Yo. Okay, Wendy. Con Don Carlos trabajé. Gamero, right? Okay, cool. Vaya, sería Carlos doesn't drink soda in his work. Okay, very good. Carlos doesn't have car. Ah, okay. Eh, he doesn't sleep his jobs. Ah, okay, very good. Carlos, read the examples that you have about when. When he doesn't exercise in the morning. Okay. When he doesn't play basketball. All right. Wendy, she, does, Wendy doesn't have a motorcycle. Okay, she doesn't have a motorcycle. There you go. Thank you, Carlos, and thank you, Wendy. Cool. I think these are the whole participations, right? Yeah, creo que ya hemos participado todos. Like, that's the way how we have been doing. Cool. So, basically, this is the way how we create, let's remember, examples in negative using first person and using third person, okay? By tomorrow, mañana vamos a tener una práctica general de los cuatro temas que hemos estado viendo estos, estos, estos días, ¿ok? A modo recordatorio, antes de pasar asistencia, listen, les mencionaba al principio de la clase, hay algunos que ya tienen el 100% de las tareas hechas en la plataforma, pero hay otros que me han aparecido con un 0%, listen, si no me quieren tener mañana hostigándolos después de clase, hey, mire, haga la tarea, por favor, necesito su nota, eh, les recomiendo que comencemos a trabajar en esas tareas, ¿ok? Recordemos que mañana, a más tardar, que es tipo 11 de la noche, yo tengo que enviar esos resultados al INSAFOR, ¿ok? Entonces, para evaluar su desempeño en todo el transcurso de la semana 1, ¿ok? Entonces, para mañana, ya sea antes o después de la clase, right, Necesito que estén esas cinco tareas ya en la plataforma, ¿ok? A modo de favor, please. All right. All right. Now, I'm going to pass the attendance list. Okay. Hola. Serían las primeras cinco. ¿verdad? Las primeras cinco, es correcto. Yes. Las primeras cinco. There you go. Uh, Carlos Mauricio. Present, teacher. Okay. Cindy Melanie. Present, teacher. Perfect. Elvi Quintanilla. Hi. Cool. Stephanie Michelle. Present. Cool. Michelle, ahora le tocan los 10 minutos de feedback, ok? Se me queda. Ok. Cool. Gustavo Adolfo. Present. Perfect. Ivania Jamilet. Present. Nice. Jorge Alberto. Present. Cool. Uh, José Antonio. Present. Nice. José Edgar. Present. All right, uh, Juan Emanuel. Present. Okay, Juan Gilberto. Present teacher. Very good, uh, Julio Alberto. Present teacher. Very good, Julio Cesar. Present. Okay, Karen Beatriz. Present. Okay, Luis Gerardo. Present. Excellent, Verónica Arely. Present. Very good. Wendy Jamilet. Present. Okay. William Ernesto. Present teacher. Very good. Xiomar Elizabeth. Present. Okay. Luis Jonathan. Present teacher. Carlos Jose. Not here teacher. All right. Perfect. And the last one, Soy La Guadalupe. Good night. Soyla, are you there? I am. Okay, cool. 
Good night, people. Espero tengan night, una, una buena noche. Y nos vemos mañana en la última videoconferencia de la semana. ¿okay? Bye, teacher. Have a wonderful night. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night, Good night everybody. Teacher. Buenas noches a todos. Good night. Bye. bye. See you. All right. See you tomorrow, people. Take care. Teacher. Yes. Eh, una consulta. Ajá, cuando, dígame. Este, como yo soy nuevo, ¿verdad? Eh, ah. De nuevo ingreso. Entonces, este, cuando dice las cinco tareas, se refiere a las cinco lecciones. Digamos, eh... la lección uno. Eh, ahí... Vaya. Ok, vaya, antes, antes, de, antes de que se me vaya a ir, le voy a enseñar, vaya, antes de, de comenzar el, la, la retro con, retroalimentación con Michelle. Ok, listen. Acá tenemos la página de la, de, 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 de la plataforma, ok, vaya. Ok. Acá donde dice Section 1, le va a dar clic donde dice Unit 1, ¿verdad? Yeah. Entramos acá y lo que va a encontrar acá son, vaya, tenemos videoconferencia 1, le aparece el video, ok, aquí le tendría que aparecer el video, que básicamente eh, tuvimos de la clase 1, acá, uh -huh. hasta la tarea 1, ok, a desarrollar, aquí ya le aparece el video de la videoconferencia número 2, que tuvimos el martes, y aquí a la par está la tarea 2, videoconferencia 3 que tuvimos ayer, aquí aparece el, el, la tarea de la, de, la, de la videoconferencia de ayer ok, ahora la de hoy va a aparecer mañana por eso aparece esta imagen este video acá, bueno que sería la tarea 4, entonces usted ya la tarea 4 la puede hacer porque ya estuvimos con esta clase ¿no? que es el, el uso de los negativos y ya la tarea, eh, la tarea 5 que sería la clase de mañana que si bien le puede dar una ojeada y la puede hacer, no hay ningún problema, ¿ok? Antes de, antes de mañana o mañana. Entonces, estas serían las cinco tareas que yo le pido para mañana. ¿okay? Ah, ok. Sí, ya, esa sí ya la hice. Pensaba que eran ah, las cinco perfecto. por lecciones. No, 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 no. <risa> es, que, es que por sección, va sección uno, es semana uno, semana pues sí, dos, ajá. tres y cuatro, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Sí. Va, perfecto. Entonces, si ya hizo las cinco, no hay ningún problema. Ya tiene el 100%, ¿ok? Okay, good night, teacher. Okay, Thank you. Good night, Jorge. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, perfect. All right, Michel. So we're going to have the 10 minutes feedback, Michel. Ella está llegando más temprano a la casa, right? Sí. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's, that's great. That's great. Okay, Michel. Recordando siempre estos 10 minutos de feedback son eh, específicamente para aclarar cualquier duda que usted pueda tener con relación a las clases que hemos tenido o algo relacionado siempre a la plataforma eh, sobre la plataforma no había hecho ninguna <risa> Mar, Michelle <risa> okay. Ay, que no, no había podido pero ya la voy a hacer para dejarla hoy listo perfecto, perfecto, me alegra escuchar y, eso y sobre las clases eh, ya, me queda, ya me quedan las cosas un poco más claras y lo que estoy poniendo en práctica es como sacar el vocabulario para aprenderme, ah, para aprenderme okay. palabras porque eso es lo que siento que me cuesta, como el significado de las palabras para formular las preguntas. Ah, muy bien, muy bien. Sí, necesitamos Pero, ir aprendiendo, digamos, poniendo en práctica un poco el vocabulario que aquí solemos, solemos dar, solemos practicar, ya sea en conversaciones o en ejemplos. Uh -huh. Ajá, eso es lo que estaba haciendo. Pero de lo que respecto de las clases, ya entiendo mejor. Porque en el módulo 1 habían cosas que sí me quedaban en blanco. <risa> Pero ahora ya es como... Ahora ya 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 van mejorando un poco ya, right? Exactly. No, es decir, como esto es un proceso. Y, y, recuerde, y, también, ¿sí? y, ta, ajá. y también practico para, para ir aprendiendo. Exactly. En los tiempos que me quedan libres, así que ay, voy mejorando. Ese es un lo logro. Bueno, eso es lo bueno, sí. <risas> eso es un logro, créame. Que usted ve atrás y ve cuando inició módulo 1 y se evalúa cómo está ahora, ver que sí ha aprendido bastante, right? Entonces, igual, y así va a ser, eh, va pasando al módulo 3, 
que ojalá podamos continuar con el proceso, luego módulo 4, 5 hasta llegar a 6, que comprenden los 6 módulos de básico, ¿verdad? Right? Que okay. yo sé que poco a poco igual, igual va a ir aprendiendo cada vez más vocabulario, más estructuras, practicar más, ¿verdad? Right? Vamos a tener más conversaciones en everything. Sí, cabal. Lo que, es, lo que siento que también me cuesta es la pronunciación. Ajá. Sí, yo igual por eso... Pero, por, pero... Por eso siempre... Ajá, eh, lo que eh, hago eh, es anotar cómo las pronuncia usted. Ah, las pronunciaciones. <risa> I mean, that's, 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 that's a good idea. Es una buena sí. idea. Y siempre recuerde que cuando haya duda de alguna pronunciación, siempre pregúnteme. Yo igual siempre le voy a, les voy a estar ayudando ahí eh, en la clase. Que usted no sienta pena que diga, ah, voy a interrumpir al teacher. No. Encienda el micrófono y pregunte, mire cómo se pronuncia esta palabra y yo con gusto le voy a dar la pronunciación. Ok, está bien. Voy a tenerlo en cuenta. <risa> sí, Muchas gracias forma, por su paciencia, teacher. Ya sabe que para eso estamos, right? para eso estamos, para que poco a poco vayamos aprendiendo cada vez un poco más. Right? Ah, vale, sí, sí. <risa> yes, no sé si tiene alguna, alguna pregunta textual, algo específico. Eh, eh, no, por el momento los temas que hemos visto los tengo claro. Ajá, Lo único okay. que es practicar, ¿verdad? Y yes. eso ya corre por mi cuenta que tengo que practicar. Exactly, exactly. Sí, y ahí sí ya, ya <risas> nos toca nada más eh, practicar lo que se ve acá un poco, ¿verdad? Right? Igual para ir reteniendo un poco más. Así es. Ah, ok. Bien, Así que entonces... solamente, teacher. Va, perfecto, Stephanie, me alegro mucho de que vayamos practicando, vayamos aprendiendo cada día un poco más. Y recuerde siempre que exista alguna pregunta, alguna duda en la clase, no duden en encender el micrófono y preguntar, ¿ok? Que para eso estamos siempre. Ok, está bien. Perfecto, entonces, Michelle, si no hay nada más que agregar, espero que tenga una excelente noche y nos vemos Uy, mañana en la última. Uy, trabado. <ríe> en serio, le quedó trabado. No le escucho. Ah. Hoy sí, hoy sí le escucho. Sí. <risa> <risa> ok, ok. No, le, le... Es que esta cosa no funciona. Ah, ok. No, le mencionaba que si no hay nada más que agregar, entonces Me, no igual. Me se quedó parado, Tich. En serio, pero yo la veo que se mueve. Como en cámara lenta se ve. En serio. <risa> No, pero yo la veo normal a usted. ¿Me escucha? Michelle. Ahora sí, ahora sí. Pero yo, la veo, <ríe> a, yo a usted la veo y la, y la escucho normal, normal. Pero entonces, a saber qué es, pero se ve como que se mueve en cámara lenta. <ríe> no, pero usted la escucha bien normal, se, ve, se mueve normal. Ah, es, pues, raro, es raro, es <ríe> raro. Está bueno, volado, entonces... no sirve. A veces así pasa, no se preocupe. Ok, entonces, igual, entonces para cualquier duda, igual ya estamos siempre en los medios, ya sea, ya sea a través de WhatsApp o en la clase, ¿ok? Ok, pues, está bien. Perfecto, entonces si no hay nada más que agregar, espero que tenga una excelente noche, Michelle, y nos vemos mañana en la última videoconferencia de la semana, ¿ok? Gracias, igual, teacher. Feliz noche. Perfecto. Good night. Bye, bye. Good night. Okay.